All right, let's, let's do these sliders, man. Okay. And they're not going to be any old slider. We're going to be a bacon onion ring slider. And that's where we're going to start with this video. Uh, everybody loves sliders, right? Everybody loves sliders. But we're going to do a barbecue bacon uh, slider, right? It'll be a bacon onion ring slider, and you've probably seen us do this before, right? And we've done it a few times. You can check it out on YouTube. So, but we're doing sliders, all right? So it's kind of real easy to do. We're just going to take uh, an onion, right? Same old, same old, right? And we'll just peel it. We're just going to make uh, onion rings. Everybody makes onion rings. And um, so uh, a little bit of cooperation with this. We can get the the outer skin off here and then we'll make some rings these are real fresh real fresh onions man so we want to make just do your onion ring slices right like that and then your rings right. see this is what we're after oh it smells good man if you like onions this is all good so you uh, make a make a bunch right make a bunch here I don't need to have to show you this, but I guess I could. And uh, again, I'm just, just to make it easy. Now you can get one of them fancy ass onion ring makers, right? <laughs> I guess you could do that, but this is kind of easy. See, so as you know, the onions have a natural ring into it, so it makes it really easy, and then we'll just you know, maybe half inch slices or something like that. And then, and of course, try not to cut your finger off. But if you got your trusty uh, 10 inch butcher here, you'll be fine, right? And you can head on over to our website. I don't need to tell you. And you could have yours custom with your barbecue pit uh, chapter's name. This, of course, is a mother pit. The pit boys on the back will custom make them for you and get them down to you, man. So, and we appreciate your support. And so, so anyway, we just keep these rings going here. And so I don't have to bore you anymore. Let's cut right now. All right, through the miracle of time, we already did this, huh? So, uh, and for those who just went to the refridge or get a couple cold ones or to the cupboard to get some peanut butter, we're back. All right, it's done. We didn't need to show you all of that. So, this is bacon onion rings. So we got our rings. We take a slice of um, bacon, right? This is obviously pork belly bacon. Some parts of the world, they call it streaky bacon. Nah, it's, it's, this, is, this is bacon. This is the way bacon should be, right? Pork belly, just like that. And uh, so we'll take a slice, right? And we'll take a ring and we'll take our bacon and just wrap it around. Now, how simple is that? This is going to this is going to make some awesome sliders, I am telling you, because we're going to kind of smoke these on the kettle grill. How's that kettle grill going down there, slasher? All right, I'll have these. I'll have these bacon onion rings ready for you in a minute. Ready to go. Cool. We'll probably set that kettle up at about 350 degrees or so. Almost all that. Yep. And uh, sometimes you might need a couple slices for these guys. Depends how big your ring is. And whatever you do, don't use the thick cut bacon. All right. It'll take forever, number one, um, to do. And it's, um, and it's actually too much bacon. Uh, no, I should, you can't say that, too much bacon. Nobody says too much bacon. But it's a lot of bacon when you get this thing cooked on the grill. All right. So I'm just kind of showing you. Are you close enough, Jess? So see this? or a dog. There we go. So you just keep playing around with this. You can do this a lot faster. It's like about 38 degrees out here, so my hands aren't working this morning, but 
Here we go. Let me show you again. That's right. Next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com. Some of you guys have been with us for almost 15 years and we appreciate your support. It's pretty damn cool. So anyway, the story goes on, wrapping the bacon around it, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna cut, all right? So you can go to the, get more peanut butter and another cold one and we'll come back and have these rolls and we'll get them on the grill. All right, right on. You know, remember back in the day when you bought a pound of bacon, it was actually a pound of bacon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, what is it, 10 ounces or whatever? And they do that by shortening the lengths of the bacon. They just cut off a little bit. Now they got 10 ounces rather than 12 ounces. What it, it causes a problem sometimes in doing uh, bacon onion rings because it seems the slice is too short to get all the way around it. Hey, such is life. One slice yeah, yeah. Ring. yeah. Well, you can double them up if you want. I mean, it's up to you. But see? Good. And, uh. You're gonna wrap them right around there, get them nice, yep. nice and tight. Boy, the fingers aren't working good this morning. Mm. You know, spring is coming, but I think it's a few months away. Shoot. So. That's right. But our. Bossy chapters and our New Zealand chapters down there, they're loving it, man. Spring is here, right? Yeah. So, so cool is that. Yeah. So, all right. Finally, in a miracle of time, gave you plenty of time to get the cupboard for the peanut butter and gave another cold one. We did it for you, so we didn't bore you anyway. But that's it. You just essentially wrap an onion ring, a sweet vidalia if you got one, wrap it in some regular cut bacon and this is what you get right you get the bacon onion ring so now to the grill this is where it gets good we're going to cook this on the grill indirect and indirect we always mean as you know opposite the hot coals this is all your heat over here we don't want to put these over top You'll burn them. We want to use the grill like it's an oven. So we're gonna do this indirect placement of these bacon wrapped onion rings, like that. Like that. You know, make a bunch. Make some for snacking and not the sliders. You can do it any way you want. So we get these on here. Oh, it smells good already, man. I'm telling you. So I don't know, what are we doing? 12 sliders or something like that? I think so. Yeah, for snacking. I don't know if I can get too much closer. So, yeah, get that. Let's do that. All right, uh, this is gonna take as long as it takes to cook your bacon to the way you want it, right? You may not want it super crispy because, you know, overcooked bacon sucks, right? Too much salt, right? But if you do this right indirect, at a fairly, you know, maybe 350 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe uh, less, you know, it's up to you, but they'll cook just fine. The bacon will begin to hold tight on these onion rings. I'm gonna tell you, they're gonna be perfect for our sliders. I'm gonna have to check this out. All right, let's do it. Cool. Maybe a half hour, 45 minutes, who knows, all right? All right, check out. Beautiful. All right, now let's let's make this slider this thing. Chipotle, habanero. So we're gonna. Punch so we got what a got a few pounds of ground beef there. And of course, you uh, this is a barbecue slider, so you gotta have the good sauce. Yeah, half a cup. That's good. This is pit master privilege. You can really heat it up. And uh, let's give it a good mix. Oh yeah. God, my kids will love doing this video. Oh yeah, I love this. Are you kidding, kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, those those rings won't take too long. Yeah, maybe when you get that cheese, this so we can top it off with some uh, habanero cheese. This is gonna be good. Nice big chunk. I'm gonna do this. Mix that well. Already smells good. Oh man. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. 
Makes it a little easier when you're at the tailgate. You know, flatten it out. You don't have to cut them into pieces. Quite yeah, easy. not individual burgers, too. I mean, you just make a cheat burger and then we uh, make the sliders. Mm -hmm. This is for your holiday, for your birthday you treat. Be cooking a lot of other stuff. Cool, man. Friend, you know, oh, yeah. So, you know, the, the Whoa. Looks like they got ribs going on in the Pit Boys show in the background there. So. Now, of course, you got to have the SPG. So let me let me handle the SPG. Just so why don't you take that? Yeah, I'm... We'll just coat it on the top. SPG or your favorite seasoning. At least some salt and pepper. This has garlic in it as well and some other seasonings, a little red pepper flake. Oh, layer of flavor. I think these uh, bacon onion rings are ready. Oh, are you kidding? Look at this. Look at Look at Look at Oh, man. There you go. All right, cool. Get these off. Now, oh, yeah. bacon onion ring sliders. Oh, baby. Get these off. Look at that. I know it. Yeah. We wouldn't do in one of these network TV shows. We, these would be for snacking right now, but... Uh, there we go. What an outrageous smell. Yeah, we might have to test these here. We'll do something with that. Yeah. Yeah. There'll be something done with that. Tell you what, it's hard to describe how good this smells, especially that onion, right? All right, so these are destined for the sliders, one way or the other, also maybe for snacking. So we'll just... Um, Let's get the burger on, man. We got to get the burger yeah. going, so let's do that. So let me get this out of the way. And then a slasher, and bring that that meat loaf down there. Our slider loaf. Now we want to uh, obviously not place these direct. Yeah, I know. It. I was thinking this. Now that'll work. We got a lot of heat here. We're gonna keep it. Uh, kind of low, maybe under 300 degrees, or no rush. And uh, I told you this was going to be easy to do. Yeah. Look at that. So I don't know, this might take, what, half hour, 20 minutes. We'll keep a close look on it. And uh, all right. Cool. There's cheese on here, man. Oh, look at this. Just load it on there. There you go. Let me get some here, too. Because you gotta have the cheese with the slider. The bacon onion ring slider. I'm gonna let that cheese melt all over this. Take a look at that. Oh, not long to go. I'm gonna be eating good tonight, Martha. Anybody seen her in the last few weeks? I haven't seen her. All right, cool. Perfect. Cheese is melted. Look at that. Right. Take a look at that. Oh man. Melted habanero cheddar. Whoa. All right. Let's get them up to the uh, pit here. Pit table. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. We'll let this. Uh, Rest for a cute few minutes, man. This will allow the uh, cheddar, habanero cheddar, just to cool down a little bit and solidify. It makes sense, right? Oh man, you should smell it. It's good. I think this thing is ready. That's cool, man. Oh, take a look at that. Habanero cheddar, a lot of, ground beef. A lot of flavors in this. Oh man. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do this. We'll take our our butcher. And we'll just get it separated. Right. And uh, how about a, let me give you a nice slice, slasher. There we go. Right there. And now, of course, you can get right in there. Take a nice little look at that. Oh, man, I'm going to reach in front of you, too. Are you kidding me? 
I'm gonna get this one right here. Look at that. It's gonna be loaded with flavor. I mean, these ain't in a cheap slider. Look at that. So let me, uh, let me grab like this one. Oh, baby, baby, yeah. No, yeah. We'll do that. Let me, I got me some fried onion in here too. We might as well go onion overload, right? Right now. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Make your own with sliders, man. Oh, 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 oh. Jeez, I may have put a little bit too much sauce. No, no. Look at that. So this is the part where the pit master eats in front of you. And he doesn't apologize. Oh, excuse me. Awesome. This is, this is, these are real sliders, you know. This ain't that phony baloney, uh, good housekeeping stuff, right? You see it in the magazine. Sliders, quick and easy. This is how you do them. A little charcoal gives an incredible flavor. And because we did the uh, bacon onion rings on the kettle or the charcoal, incredible flavor. If you've never done your pound bacon like this before, you got to do it, man. Absolutely. Mm. So where's the camera guy? You're not even around here. Go. Oh. All right. Let me get the camera guy in here. Let me just keep going. I'll just grab this thing from you. All right. The camera guy is the union, so we got to feed him. All right. Look at that. Mm. All right. You could. Oh, yeah. There you go. Look at that. Mm-mm. Bacon on there. Get a little extra crisp. Yeah. Put a little sauce mm. on first. Yeah. Yep. Use your favorite sauce. Mm. And of course, you can head over to our website and get the sauces. We've got our seasonings, our SDG. And we appreciate your support. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you hear that crunch? Mm. Oh, yeah. That's what it is, man. You got it. Lord have mercy. I hate mm. Mm. Oh, mm. Mm. Bacon, onion ring, sliders. Oh. Mm. Mm. So, um, there's nothing else to say now, right? Except head on over to our website. Um, by the way, we've got how many chapters? We've got like 18,000 chapters in 100 countries. When you're on our website, sign up. We'd be proud to have you. And of course, always remember this. The next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com. Oh, yeah. Take a look at that. Mmm. It's good.